Shalom brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Today I will share the message that I read on the internet. It was posted on August 1st, 2021. I will translate it for us. Here is the message. Vision of a child of God. In the early morning around 2 a.m., I was told by God to testify, so then I testified. Last night I had a rather long vision about the blowing trumpet of the angels that are ready. The angel's trumpet is unique and strange, so beautiful. I saw there was already preparation, and there were already angels pouring out something like diamonds on the earth. It is the sign of mercy and the Holy Spirit of God. And the other angels are holding strange trumpets with different shapes, but very beautiful. I have never seen that trumpet in this world. They look like symbols. Please tell them that this time is greatly accelerated. Please remind them this is an urgent warning so that the church is ready. There are three moments that I see. All kinds of strange events for quite a long time I saw. On one side I saw the Lord and his angels were riding on the white horse. His face was shining, they were moving towards the earth. From above I was screaming, Have mercy, have mercy on us, Lord, the sinners. Then there was a voice that I heard, There is no more time delay, it is very urgent. It is like something has happened in heaven, the angels are going to earth. I'm so afraid because many people are not ready. I said, Wait, Lord, I want to tell people. Watch my child. That is his voice. I'm afraid because many people left behind. They are not ready yet. I myself am so happy. Two feelings are raging in my heart when I see the vision. That's the end of the message. Brothers and sisters in Christ, Jesus is coming. Are we ready to meet him? As written in the message, many are not ready. I ever had two dreams about rapture some years ago where I saw many people are left behind when rapture happened. Very few are taken, so I feel like this is the warning for us. Not all believers will be raptured on that day, only the true believers or the bride of Christ will be raptured. How we prepare ourselves will determine whether we are raptured or we stay here after rapture. I don't want us to be left behind, so I feel the urgency to speak about holiness and righteousness. Brothers and sisters, we need to seek God like never before. We cannot just rely on what people say to us in these last days, where deceptions are so thick, especially if it is about our eternity. Take our time to pray and read God's word. Do it every day and we will grow more mature in faith and knowledge of God. Ask the Holy Spirit to lead us and enable us to put God's word into practice. The word of God is God himself, so if we say we believe in Jesus, we must also believe every word that he said. If we believe in his words, we will automatically obey his words. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we are saved by faith in Jesus. It is true, but we must sure is it the faith or just knowing. Repent from sins, obey God's commandments, bear good fruit, and so on, are not adding something to the faith, but they are the evidence that we have the real faith. Faith itself is something spiritual cannot be seen with our eyes, but it manifested through our deeds. Faith and deeds cannot be separated, they are one. So don't just say with our lips that we have faith, but the faith should be manifested in our life by obeying the words of God and puts them into practice. So if they are teaching saying that our deeds have nothing to do with our salvation, they are teaching this false faith that cannot save them. That's all I like to share, brothers and sisters. Hope this can help us to prepare for the coming of Jesus. If you have any comments about this message, can share it in the comment section below. And if you need prayer, you can send email to me or share it in the comment section. May Jesus, our Lord and Savior, bless us all. Love you all, brothers and sisters, and thank you for listening. Bye.